So in the last video, we already found what this integral is equal to. So now let's focus on solving this integral. And then once we've done that, we can just substitute it back into this expression to find what cn should be. So now all we have to do is to solve this x squared times sine function. And then to simplify things a bit, I'm just going to write this as kx. So k is equal to n pi divided by a. So we just solve this using we can just solve this using integration by parts, and we need to do it two times because of the x squared over here. So we integrate sine x, it just becomes a negative cosine kx divided by k. So 0 to a minus 0 to a. And then we inter uh, differentiate the x squared over here. It just becomes 2x dx. And obviously we can just get rid of that negative sign. So substituting a, we got negative a squared cosine a k divided by k. And then put in 0, you just get 0. And here you see you have an integral of x cosine kx, so we can just do integration by parts again. So the cosine kx becomes sine kx divided by k, 0 to a, and then minus 0 to a, and then we differentiate this x term. So this is just a standard procedure for integration by parts. And then if you substitute in a inside over here, you get sine n pi, because k a is just equal to n pi, and sine n pi is just equal to 0. And then when you substitute in 0, you just get 0 times sine 0, which is just 0. So this entire term is 0, which is always a good thing. You can just get rid of all the terms. Now here you have a 2 divided by k squared, so I'm pulling these constants out. So you're left with an integral of k, uh, sine kx. So integrating sine kx just becomes negative cosine kx divided by k, 0 to a. So now we can just substitute in the bounds inside this expression. So I can just pull this other k out as well. So this just becomes k divided by 2 divided by k to the power of 3. And then we have negative cosine ka plus 1. Because cosine 0 is equal to 1, so you have minus negative 1. So you have positive 1 here. So now we're ready to substitute this expression back inside this integral over here. So we have negative a squared cosine a k divided by k minus 2 over k to the power of 3, 1 minus cosine a k. So uh, let's just make sure I didn't copy this wrong. So now we're ready to substitute everything back into this expression over here. So now let's just get rid of these integrals over here. So we have 2 times the square root of 15 divided by e to the power of 3. Here you have a times the integral of x sine x. That's just equal to a times negative a cosine a k divided by k. And then minus the integral of x squared sine x. So it's just minus this expression. So we have plus a squared cosine a k. So we have minus this expression. This just becomes plus. And then plus 2 over k to the power of 3. 1 minus cosine ak. And then obviously you can see that this a goes inside, a squared, so you see that these two cancel out, which is once again always a good thing. So now just grouping these terms together, we have 4 times the square root of 15 divided by a to the power of 3. And then for the k to the power of 3, I'm just going to substitute the constants back in. So we call that k is equal to n pi divided by a, so you get a to the power of 3 divided by n to the power of 3 divided by pi to the power of 3. So the a's, they just cancel out. And then we also have the 1 minus cosine n k. And k is just equal to n pi divided by a, so a k is equal to n pi. So there we have it. So n in this case is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on, all the way to infinity. So all the natural numbers. And then we can actually do a further simplification by observing how the cosine n pi term changes. So let's just group these terms together. And then we have a 1 minus cosine n pi, where n is equal to all the natural numbers. So we call that the cosine function that looks something like this. So when n is equal to a positive, uh, a even number, like 2, 4, 6, 8, cosine 2 pi, cosine 4 pi, cosine 6 pi, that's just equal to 1. So you get 1 minus 1, that's just equal to 0. So cn is equal to 0 when n is, uh, when n is even. 
And then when n is an odd number, like 1, 3, 5, and 7, cosine pi, cosine 3 pi, cosine 5 pi, and so on, they're all equal to negative 1. So you have 1 minus negative 1, that's just equal to 2. So you have 8 times the square root of 15 divided by n to the power of 3 divided by pi to the power of 3 when n is odd. So we're actually almost done here. We have found an expression for cn. And then all we have to do now is just to substitute to it back inside the wave function. So recall that we initially set out to find the wave function for this particle that's stuck inside the infinite square well, which had an which had a certain initial condition. And then doing all the integration, we've managed to lock down the values of the constant, which we found to be equal to this expression over here. So now we can just substitute it right, right back into this summation sign. So instead of 1 all the way to infinity, we need to take away the even terms, because when n is an even number, like 2, 4, 6, 8, cn is just equal to 0 because of this over here. So the only terms that survive are the odd ones. So we have what? n equals to 1, 3, 5, and so on. And then cn, we can just plug this term right back inside right to the power of 3. And then let's just write this out explicitly. So the xi n becomes this expression over here. And then times this u term over here. So essentially we're done. This is the wave function we're looking for. And then let's just arrange this in the way Griffiths does in the book. So he combines the 2 and the 15 to become square root of 30 divided by a. And then he groups up the 8 and the pi as 2 over pi to the power of 3, because 2 to the power of 3 is just equal to 8. And then we have the rest of the terms inside the summation symbol. So n to the power of 3 sine n pi divided by ax times e to the power of negative i e n t divided by h bar. So this is your final answer. This is the wave function of a particle that's stuck inside the infinite square well that satisfies our initial condition.